Okay. Hi guys. I'm doing my current topic presentation on why older adults should swim. In swimming, there are very minimal injuries and older adults typically suffer from stiff joints and joint pain, especially the hips and the knees. However, swimming eliminates a lot of the discomfort from these joint pains while land-based activities such as running are weight bearing and while you get that for running swimming you don't and this is because the water makes you buoyant and it eliminates the pressure and the strain on your joints and uh, this type of exercise is very good for older adults because they typically suffer from arthritis. Swimming is a great cardiovascular exercise and your blood flows more quickly and your heart beats faster and this can improve your circulation and lower your blood pressure and decrease your risk of a heart attack. And a healthier heart and cardiovascular system reduces the effort required to perform everyday tasks like walking up the stairs or um, getting around the house. And because mobility can decrease with age, making sure that uh, you're able to do all your daily activities is important. Older adults lose their muscle mass as a normal result of aging and it can be reversed, however, through exercising. Muscle strength and mass is naturally increased through exercise. And something great about swimming is that it works many of the major muscle groups all at once. And you can even specifically target whatever muscle you want by just doing a different stroke. And water aerobics and water resistance exercises also take advantage of the water's ability to reduce the joint pain, but um, it allows older adults to enjoy the benefit of increasing muscle strength. So if you swim and you're an older adult, you can end up looking like this guy on right here. And older adults, they typically uh, experience stress, anxiety, depression. That's just a typical thing that older people get but one of the best ways to combat mental health issues is through exercising exercising releases hormones that trigger feelings of happiness and well-being swimming is a very good way to improve your mental health and once the whole coronavirus pandemic is over and they're will be ways to swim besides going to lakes and rivers and they can go swimming in like a community pool with other people. The whole social aspect will also help um, with the mental health. So for older adults, as we've learned in this class, falling is a major concern for injury. Broken bones, uh, head trauma, and just all these injuries you can get from falling, um, they can just really affect your quality of life. And in a study done in Australia, older men who swam regularly, they were 33% less likely to fall when compared to other men who participated in other types of exercises. Water uses many muscle groups in the body and stability and gravity is lost in the water. So the body must produce its own stability and support. And um, people who practiced swimming showed less postural sway, which meant that they were able to stand longer without movement in the hips. So making use of your muscles in the movements used in swimming can increase your flexibility which means you'll have an easier time uh, tying your shoes and picking up things off the ground. And yeah, 
so everyday mobility becomes more and more important uh, for independence as you get older. So yeah, swimming uh, provides you with a way to to maintain your flexibility as you get older. So um, swimming, according to uh, a few long-term studies, is shown to slow down aging. So there was a study done at Indiana University that found that master swimmers um, over the age of 35 who swam 3,200 to 4,500 meters three to five times a week postponed the aging process. And not just for a few years, but it was just for like decades. And it just improved uh, blood pressure and lung function. So, but you don't have to be a master swimmer to benefit from swimming. Um, there was another study done at University of South Carolina that showed that swimming dramatically reduces the risk of dying. And they had a study that spanned 32 years and it tracked 40,000 men um, from ages 20 to up to 90. And they swam, of oh, those that swam, had a 50% lower death rate than the runners, walkers, and those who didn't exercise at all. So yeah, this is why I believe that older adults should swim. Thank you.